Hello, it's Pastor Keith, and it's late morning prayer for Tuesday, May 21st, 2024, and I'm coming to you almost semi-live from uh, the environs of Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town. And so sorry, uh, Monday is my day off, and I kept saying to myself, record a, a morning prayer for Tuesday, and I didn't, and I didn't remember until this morning. So you're getting morning prayer in the morning. Here we are. And it's going to be a short one because um, I suspect you guys have busy days. This is the Pentecost story from John, which happened on Easter Eve. Um, Jesus had just appeared to Mary Magdalene in the garden, and she recognized him as the risen one. And, and she went back and said, the crucified Jesus is risen. And the uh, weren't quite sure what to believe about that, but they were all gathered together. Here it is, John 20, 19 to 23. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And after he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Now listen to this. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. He breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. That is what happened in the story in Acts. The breath, the great wind came through, the fires were lit, and they spoke in tongues of other languages so that they could preach the gospel. Here Jesus is saying, if you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Again, preaching the gospel, kind of in a reverse or negative sort of way, but uh, preach the gospel. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. Now go out and forgive people. Go out and forgive people. Okay, so I am going to use this prayer again. I may have used it yesterday, but I like it. Hey, Pule Kako, let us pray. Mighty God, you breathe life into our bones and your spirit brings truth to the world. Send us the spirit, transform us by your truth, and give us language to proclaim your gospel through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And for what's rest of the day, what's left of the rest of the day, right? May our gracious God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Spirit guide you, protect you, and bring you to eternal life. Amen. See you tomorrow.